Hello my friends, in this video we will be discussing the relationship between active masses and the rate of reaction. We will use the law of mass action to understand this concept. Additionally, we will also derive the expression for equilibrium constant. Let's start with the law of mass action. In 1869, scientists Goldberg and Wig put forth a law that would define the relationship between active masses and the rate of reaction. This law states that the rate at which a substance reacts is directly proportional to its active mass and the rate of a reaction is directly proportional to the product of the active masses of the reacting substances. So what is an active mass? An active mass is defined as the molar concentration. Its units are mole per decimeter cube or mole per liter. Substances that are enclosed in square brackets are generally used to represent active masses. Let's consider a reversible reaction in which A and B, the reactants, react to form products C and D. Remember, the double arrow signifies a reversible reaction. The molar concentration of each reactant and product can be represented in square brackets. In accordance with the law of mass action, the rate of the forward reaction is directly proportional to the product of the concentration of the reactants. In the case of the forward reaction, where A and B react to form C and D, rate of reaction can be written like this. We know that the rate of forward reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of A and B. Mathematically, the following equation can be represented as the rate of reaction equals to the specific rate constant multiplied by concentrations of A and B. So, in that case, the proportional sign changes to the equal sign and we insert Kf into the equation as a constant. Kf represents the constant for the forward reaction. Altogether, the equation states that the rate of forward reaction is equal to the specific rate constant multiplied by the concentrations of A and B. That is how the forward reaction is expressed. If we were to write the reverse of the above reaction, meaning C and D, react to form A and B, we would get following equation. Mathematically, it can be expressed as the rate of reaction is equal to the Kr multiplied by the concentrations of C and D, where Kr is the constant for the reverse reaction. In this case, Kf and Kr are the proportionality constants. This is referred to as the specific rate constant of the forward and the reverse reaction. Got it? Great. Moving further, we now know that in the equilibrium state, the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of reverse reaction. If we were to insert the values of the rate of the forward reaction and the rate of the reverse reaction from the previous equations, we come to the following equation as shown here. Kf multiplied by concentrations of A and B equals to Kr multiplied by concentrations of C and D. If we were to rearrange the equation and move the constants, Kf and Kr to the left side and the active masses to the right side, we would get the following equation as you can see. So, Kf over Kr equals concentration of C and D divided by the concentrations of A and B. We refer to Kc as the equilibrium constant. Once we substitute Kf over Kr with Kc, we may represent this equation the following way. As you can see, we have now derived the expression for the equilibrium constant for the chemical equation. In this equation, only one mole of the reactants and the products is present. 
we can now say that Kc represents the ratio of concentrations between products and reactants. That brings us to the end of this lesson. In our next discussion, we will derive the expression of equilibrium constant for a general reaction. Tune into our next video to learn more.